This two-part epic has Broadway buzzing. It's opening night of The Inheritance, and we're heading to the after party to find out why this new play is giving audiences all the feels. It feels like something like a once in a lifetime experience. It feels like I, I'm just overwhelmed with gratitude to be a part of this story living in New York where it's supposed to be. And opening it for a third time feels just nuts and crazy, but there is something so settling about it being here now. This play is a it's a landmark somehow in the its, its story covers a lot, and a combination of history and uh, communion. It's an ensemble, a truly great ensemble of actors, and you get to feel like you're a part of something that's so much bigger than, than you are. And, uh, and it, you have to keep your eyes open, your heart open, and you have to keep, uh, you have to get a lot of sleep to do this play. It's people connecting and people being honest, and people looking for a chance to redeem themselves, to make up for mistakes that they may have made, and to love, and to, to risk loving yourself and the people around you. What I love about Matthew's writing is there is room for yourself to breathe into it, but he also provides you with everything that you need, point A to Z. If you need bumpers to get from this moment to that moment, he provides them for you in specific words. He also just has a hell of an ear for comedy, for charm, for life, uh, and also for the words that move you to the core. It's really wonderful to, to be in an audience of people who have walked the streets of the play, who know people like, like the characters in the play. I think it, it creates a real sense of ownership on the part of the, of the audience. They really feel like they can access the play and their own experience informs their uh, interaction with it. My favorite part about sharing this play with people is that in some small way they forget that it's mine and they, they believe that it's theirs. I think the world is in such a uh, problematic place at the moment and uh, we're going through such difficult times. And connection is everything. Forster, of course, is, in my mind, is the symbol of that. And to be telling a story about how to reach across our differences at a time when the world seems to be spiraling, it's the, it's the only way to kind of change things, is to put the stories out there that that need to be told. Yeah. Stories about love, kindness, respect, equality. <laughs>